at 6. It happened again for the second time in three weeks. A driver ends up in the water plunging off the Howard Franklin Bridge. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us tonight. These crashes are raising some big concerns about the barriers on that bridge. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck is driving Tampa Bay forward with the changes coming soon that could save lives. The video makes your heart race. Two cars, three weeks apart, submerged in water just off the Howard Franklin Bridge. Ah, cringe when I think about it. Especially in a big truck, you know, you look at the little wall, and you're like, hey, it could go right over the side. Dennis Verboski tells FHP troopers he was inside his cousin's car Wednesday morning when the steering failed and he lost control of the vehicle, smashing through this chain link fence into the water. He was able to get out safely, but weeks earlier, a driver died after getting into a crash and flipping his SUV over this concrete barrier. Wow, it's, that's kind of too often. These concrete barricades along the Howard Franklin are 32 inches tall, built at the recommended height for bridges back in 1990. Since then, the state has increased height standards by six inches. And towards the end of the bridge in St. Pete and Tampa, the barrier switches to a chain link fence. The car moving at 25, 30 miles an hour is going to go right through that like butter. We take your concerns about these barriers straight to FDOT and found out changes are coming. Once FDOT finishes construction on the new Howard Franklin Bridge, these barriers will be 10 inches taller. But parts of the chain link fence will stay. That's a concern for Travis Conlin and thousands of drivers who use this bridge every day. It's pretty scary, um, and hopefully they do something to make it a little safer for everybody out on the road. Construction on the new Howard Franklin Bridge is expected to begin early next year and take about four years to complete. In St. Pete, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.